Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. This week I decided to play with some of the embossing powders and watercolor inks that I have in my stash. So I pulled out my Versamark ink, some Canson watercolor paper, and this beautiful background stamp by Simon Says Stamp. It is the Outline Ornaments stamp. I'm also going to be using some of the watercolors I have in my stash. I have this beautiful fine tech pearlescent colors that I bought myself for my birthday last year. And then I also have this little mini fine tech set, but in the end, I don't use that one. I have this other uh, Yasumoto pearlescent watercolors, and those I purchased, I believe, at Michael's. Now, this set I'm showing you here is kind of a chalky, real kid kind of watercolor set that I bought at Walmart, but I don't use that one in the end. And I do use my Mission watercolors, so you'll see me use those on a card or two. Now I have a variety of embossing powders that I'll be using. I have these four from Simon Says Stamp, and they are the Ultra Fine Black, the Ultra Fine Steel Navy, the Ultra Fine Rose Gold, and the Ultra Fine Antique Gold. So I'll be using those four. And then I have, of course, the one from Gina K Designs. It's the Fine Detail sil Silver. So I'll be using that as well. Now in my stash, I had several embossing powders by Recollections. So I'm going to pull those in and I'll be using those. This first one is a gold sparkly um, embossing powder. It just says it's gold on the color. Then the next one is champagne. The next one is opaque bling. The next one is charcoal. And then of course snow so I can just white emboss. And then the last one I'm going to be using is by Zing. It's a gold embossing powder. So I will be pulling in 11 different embossing powders. So let's get going.
Now that I have all my panels colored in, I'm going to be cutting them out using Gina K Designs Master Layouts 2. So I use the stitch rectangle for the embossed panels. And then I'll be cutting with the plain rectangle die for the colored mats that I'll put them on. Now that I have my cards all completed, I'm going to go ahead and add these pre-printed sentiments that I purchased from Simon Says Stamp. I trim them down and then uh, the black ones, I use my memento marker to color in the edges so you don't see that white core of the paper. And then I just attach them to the card using some foam tape I bought at Dollar Tree. And here are my 11 cards and I'm just showing you real quickly which embossing powder and which coloring medium I used for each of the cards. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye!